Howdy, howdy. My name is John, and this video is my December 2020 wrap-up. The first book I finished in December was Sinlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. Especially at the beginning of this novel, I struggled to engage with the story in this book. I really liked the world building in the book, and I don't know if I was distracted for some reason or I just didn't find the story that engaging, but in the end, I wound up giving this book three stars. The next book I finished was American Gothic Short Stories. This was published by Flame Tree Publishing. I actually started this back in October as part of a Halloween read, and I carried it over till December, so I finally got it finished up. I've already done a review on this book, and in that review, I listed all of the authors and the short stories that are in this collection, and I gave them all star rating. Overall, I gave the book four stars. The next book I finished is Juxtaposition. This is the third book in the Apprentice Adept series, and it finished out the original trilogy in that series. I didn't enjoy this one quite as much as I did the two that preceded it. I gave this one four stars. That said, it is still a very enjoyable read. The battle scene at the very end is really well done. The next book I finished was Test of the Twins by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. This is the third and final book in the Dragonlance Legends trilogy. This book had a slow start. But once the action finally came in, I really enjoyed this novel. I gave this one four stars. The next book I finished was I, Robot by Isaac Asimov. This book was a reread for me. I originally read it back in about 94. These stories are some of the earliest robot short stories that Asimov wrote. I really enjoyed this collection of sto short stories. I gave it four stars. The next three books are also collections of Asimov short stories. Because some of the stories are repeats from I, Robot, I did not read the entire book, just those stories which I had not already read. The next book is The Complete Robot by Isaac Asimov. As much as I enjoyed the short stories in I, Robot, I enjoyed the short stories in this volume even more. My favorite in this book was The Bicentennial Man. And it's the last short story in the book. I also gave The Complete Robot four stars. The next book that I finished was Robot Dreams by Isaac Asimov. The title story in this collection is actually the least, one of my least favorite Asimov stories that I've read. This volume only contains four stories that are repeats from The Complete Robot. This volume also contains short stories that deal with subjects other than robots. I really enjoyed this collection, and I also gave it four stars. The last book I finished is Robot Visions. This is also by Isaac Asimov. This volume is mostly stories that were published in The Complete Robot. There are only three stories that are new to this volume. This book also contains a number of essays that Asimov wrote, mostly in the 70s and the 80s. And these essays are really excellent. I also gave this book four stars. I didn't keep good records before I started my channel, and I started my channel in June. But from what I can recall, over the course of 2020, I read 57 books plus five short stories for a total of 62. 42 of those were I read for the first time, and then 20 were rereads. I had 15 five-star books, seven of which were rereads. I had 30 four-star books, nine of which were rereads. I had 13 three-star books, four of which were rereads. I had two each of two-star books and one-star books. December was a really great month for my channel. I got a lot of new subscribers this month, so I want to take the time to Welcome all of you who have chosen to join me this month. I want to close out by thanking each and every one of you who have chosen to watch one of my videos this year. For me personally, 2020 was a great year. 
and that is because of you. I've enjoyed watching everyone's videos, and I've enjoyed reading your comments on my videos. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.